Hello again, welcome back to Aegis Armors. My name is Frank. Today we're gonna to take a walk around on this 2015 Jaguar F-Type R. Uh, this is actually my vehicle. It's one of my vehicles that I've had on my bucket list. I was able to pick it up with low mileage on it uh, about two weeks ago. We brought it into the shop and we actually did a full paint correction on it. Ceramic coating on all the exterior paint, glass, door jams, and then also did the brakes, powder coated the wheels. Uh, the wheels in, in out of light look, look jet black, and when the light hits it, there's an ice black cherry trim on it. I'll show that later in the video. This car was never really on my radar until about a year ago. I had a customer bring one in, also black. It was a 2021 model. Had the two-cylinder turbo motor with 300 horsepower. And as I was talking to him about the car, he was telling me a little bit about it. And he said, yeah, he said, I think they have one that's a supercharged V8 as well. So I started doing some online research, found out that 2015 was the only year that they came with 550 horsepower and just rear wheel drive. In 2016, they went to an all wheel drive. I guess they had a lot of issues with customers uh, losing control of them. Um, the car's a blast to drive. Went down to Florida with my business partner, picked it up, drove it back. Averaged uh, a little over 28 and a half miles of the gallon on the way back. Around town with some spirited driving, a little bit closer to 15 or 16 miles of the gallon, but that's okay because it's a ton of fun. Uh, the previous owner did a bunch of upgrades on it. As you can see, it's got cross drilled and slotted rotors, carbon fiber side skirts, Jaguar carbon fiber vent inserts, hood inserts, mirror caps. We also did the conversion to the SBR Jaguar rear carbon fiber valence. So I made the car look a lot more aggressive for sure. Motor wise, it's bone stock at the moment. And I'm not sure it'll stay that way, but we'll see. Normally I wouldn't buy a black vehicle just because they're very difficult to maintain and keep clean. Um, but with having ceramic coating on it, the advantage is we'll have to do uh, minimal washing on it. Probably two or three weeks, rinse it down, spray some soap on it with a foam cannon, rinse it off, leap blow dry it. About every fourth or fifth wash, we'll do a two bucket wash on it just to get any buildup around the pores of the ceramic. But other than that, it'll stay looking nice and shiny and mirror-like for the next five to six years. So as I said, we did a full paint correction, followed up with a polish on this vehicle. Really got a nice mirror finish on it now. We wanted to get it as perfect as we could before we put our Aegis Armor's heavy duty ceramic coating on it. We also did the glass, the glass top, windshield, the plastic lenses. We pulled the wheels off and powder coated those. We also ceramic coated the brakes. As you'll be able to see here, when the light hits it, the face and the edge of the rim has a color called Iced Black Cherry from Prismatic Powders. It really adds a nice accent to the vehicle. When there's no light on it, it turned back to just a gloss black look. So I kind of like that triple black look that it had, and so this was my alternative for having a little bit of color on the car and keeping it black. The car's got super aggressive styling and just beautiful lines. Um, definitely was designed by the same guy that did the Aston Martin Vantage. And you can certainly see that when you look at the profile of the car, there's definitely some similarities in it. It's just one of those cars that no matter what angle you look at it, it has a great look to it. So I'm sure I'm gonna enjoy it for the next year or two. If you have a new vehicle or even an older one and you wanna take care of it, make it super easy to clean, make it look brand new, Give us a call, 336-570-9790. The entire process takes three to five days, depending on the size, color, and condition of the vehicle. Have a great day.